Hey, Katie. Yeah? You wanna go fishing? Yeah. You wanna go fishing in that? Yes. Cool, why don't you invite a friend and we'll go hit the water. We'll go find some lake that we can't get into with a boat and we'll see if there's any fish in it. Can we go to that secret lake? That one that used to be part of Lake Thomas? Yeah. Yeah, I think we can get in there if we take that big old buggy to get there. Really? Should be fun. Woo! Let's huh? go! All right. Let me call a friend. Let's She's go. hot too. Let's go. Hey, Hartley, what are you doing today? You want to go fishing with me? It's going to be a cool adventure. Are you down? All right. Head on over and I'll see you soon. All right. Bye. She's ready to go and we're going to have some fun. What's happening? What's up? Katie call you to go fishing? Yes! Katie! I'm so excited. Hi Ian! <laughs> Come on girl! We're gonna go have some fun! I'm so excited. Guess what we can fish out of today? What? That freaking monster oh swamp buggy! Look at it! That's Isn't that awesome. crazy? That's awesome. So yeah, we're gonna go find a secret lake that no one ever fishes. Uh -huh. No one ever gets to do this, so you are so lucky today. I'm and we're going to catch some big bass out of that freaking swamp uh -huh. buggy. Can you believe it? No. All right. So uh, let's get ready and then we'll go, okay? All right. All right. Dean, are we going to be able to go fishing, fishing? Yeah, I mean it's windy out there. Hartley and I, me going fishing on the swamp buggy. Yeah. Gonna catch some bass, you better stay tuned. <laughs> like and subscribe while you're here. of lakes that we fish but nobody ever gets to come to this one mm -hmm. so I'm really excited today to take my girl Hartley Ann out yes and we are here in this hidden lake on a freaking monster swamp buggy <laughs> and we are gonna catch some bass and have some fun you know we're just gonna see what happens and and whatever it is we're gonna have fun doing it and you're gonna have fun watching it so stay tuned you know what I mean yeah you want me to go first you got it yeah all right you go girl so I'm going to show you what I got you hooked up with here. 
Yeah, so okay. the what we're using today, our equipment is this Lude's, Lude's speed stick with the Lude's reel on it. It's a really awesome setup. Um, smooth, great if you don't fish a lot, so perfect for beginners. And then the bait we have is a wacky rigged Tightlines UV Uvinco. So this ha like reflects UV light and it looks really oh, natural. Cool. See how clear this water is? Yeah. So the fish can be kind of spooky sometimes when the water is this clear. So this looks the most natural in the water. Um, and then basically all you do is you're going to reel it up so that you have a little bit of distance from the rod tip to the bait. Mm -hmm. Then you put your line close to the rod here, put your finger on it, flip the bail over, that's called the bail. And then you just make sure you're not going to hit anybody behind you and just cast out. You take your finger off the line as you release. Then when you feel it. Yep, yeah, then close your spool. This is called the spool. Kind of let this bait sink a little bit and you're gonna wanna like twitch, twitch up. Like, Make it seem realistic. Yeah, kind gotcha. of they they're kind of predatory fish, so if something looks injured, then they're wanna attack it. Gotcha. So the fact that this bait like kind of flutters in the water like that will make it seem like it's injured and dying and then they'll attack it. So you're gonna like twitch, twitch up, let it fall. It's kind of a slow fishing technique and then you'll reel in your slack a little bit like that, let it wait, twitch, twitch. Now what happens is, okay, so I might catch you first. Here, here, here. So hold the reel. She's greedy, hand. guys. And reel with this hand. Yep, it's gonna be strong. It's a strong one. <laughs> yeah. Look at the giant there you go. Keep it away it. from the tree. Keep oh. it away from the tree. Yeah, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. There's a giant there behind it. Keep Holy reeling, cow, keep reeling, guys. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. Don't stop reeling. Okay. Let me sight you, drag. All right, keep reeling. All right, that's good. Now just swing your rod up. There you go. It's heavy, oh huh? Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Look oh my god. How fast this fish is. Look how fast. Okay, that's so crazy. Next thing we do is release our bail a little bit to give us some slack. Puppy's gonna go in the drink. <laughs> All the dogs love the fish. So here we go. Trying to just show her how to work the bait. We caught our first fish here. Not even in two seconds. Yep, not even in two seconds. And then we just take the hook out. And oh, we got a fish. You wanna hold it? Yeah. So yep, thumb underneath. You <gasps> hold her tight. She might flop, so keep strong thumb. There you go, and turn her sideways, and then smile for the camera. <laughs> Good right. job. Look at the belly on this fish. That's a healthy fish. So this is a Florida strain black bass, and the reason they're called that is because they have this black, black color at the yeah. top. So in the clearer water, they will have this black color coloring to it um, because they're trying to match the habitat. Yeah. So it matches the water almost. Yeah, like the it dark blends on top in. And so like when they're hiding around these logs and stuff like that, they're like like blending. If the water is darker, they're lighter in color. Um, so so that, these won't be the same color as the ones in another pond. Yes. Pond. Yeah. Awesome. So isn't that cool? That That's is a awesome. fat, healthy fish. Yeah, it is. It's a hard hat. <laughs> you weren't expecting it in that hat. I wasn't look, expecting look it that All fish. right. So what I'm going to have you do is just hold it like that. Yep. And then just get a little closer to the water. Yep, and drop her in. Just over that way. Yep, just kind of toss her. There she goes. That's awesome. Now we'll get a rag and clean up our fish slime, but we got fish fingers to yeah. start the day. All right, let's do it again. Finger me. No so, rod. No, I mean, no, no rag. <laughs> There's a hose on here too, just in case. Okay, perfect. I have become a fishing <laughs> hand rag. All right, Mr. <laughs> hand rag, tell us a little bit about this lake. What do we have going All on right, here? So, you know the land. So this lake was originally part of a dig that we had just over that berm on that side. And that's our Lake Thomas. It's a 300 acre, almost 300 acre lake. And it, this was part of it, but when they reclaimed the land, it got separated from the main body. So the fish that are in here really have been here for almost 10 years and nobody has fished them at all. So. It's an isolated lake, and you can see there's no way in here unless you're in a swamp buggy. Oh, that's okay. Where are you when you are? She won't know. Okay, so slow down your reel a little bit. Yep, and then just kind of jerk it up a little, up and down. All right, and then like let it fall. And then, yep, and then just slowly reel a little bit to reel in your slack. And then pause. How's that? It's a good one, Harley. Ah! Bring it on in here, girl. Bring it on in here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God, it's so heavy. I know. Isn't it a oh, piece no. of a ah! All right, so you know, that wind. What do you 
think about that? Off the fish, right? Here you go. where they feel like those vibrations um, oh, wow. from the bait and the other things and they and they tart like they key in on that and then they'll see it and then they'll attack it and this one We got our A driver here. Monster Man with the swamp buggy. That was awesome. That was a cool fish, huh? Yeah, that was. This is so cool. I've never done anything like this before. Have no? You? No. Uh uh. And actually catch stuff. Like, I know, right? <laughs> That's probably like. Because you know these are memories that you will have forever. It's steep. It drops off steep. It, yeah. So I. Yeah, you can probably park a little bit higher on top of the hill. And ho. Yeah. That's good. 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 Yeah. Good. Oh, he's got to push the limit. Look at this. Look at this. This is pretty. Oh yeah. All right, let's see what we can get into. Put your oh thumb God. in her mouth so then I can take the hook out. There you go. Awesome. Ow, she bit take me. A little bit of teeth, huh? <laughs> okay, I'll take that. There you go. I'm gonna have you strike a pose. All right, you can try to hold her. Can you hold her with one hand? Yeah. Yeah, and like right up in front of you like that. Awesome. And Chris is on behind you with one. <laughs> Beautiful fish. <laughs> Look, we're gonna do a twofer. So you keep your fish still, keep your fish, and we're gonna do a twofer. What's up? Two to one. Yeah. No, she's on three. All right, new spot. It starts over. All right, look at that secret lake producing some beautiful bass. This is longer. All right, let's put them back in. <laughs> Try to this is a number for lob them a little more. <laughs> Widgeon, you're so silly! Widgeon, here. Did you see that fish I just caught? <laughs> nice. You go, girl. Yeah. All right. Putting the hammer down now, Mr. King. Let me see that beautiful bass when you get it. Nice. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Sweet. Oh! Try to hear my 
out of the tree. Yeah, you get real, real, real. Don't stop reeling. Don't stop reeling. Awesome. That's a good fish, Harley. Keep, oh keep it going. is a bigger one isn't it yeah good hook set that was awesome so you're learning that really well how did that feel awesome how do you think your family would like coming out and fishing and catching they wouldn't fish believe like me. this here huh they wouldn't believe me but now i have proof so. <laughs> you do have proof here i'm gonna hand it to you and you show this show these lo lovely people your beautiful bass <laughs> all right turn it sideways there you go all right sit back down a second and I'll show you one more position for those that are also learning how to hold fish for pictures. Keep your thumb in your mouth there. Take this hand, put her under the belly like that, and then lean way forward. There you go. And show them that beautiful Beanville bass. Where else can you come and have an experience like this? I have no idea. That's amazing. And you know, we have five bedroom, five bathroom cabins that families can come stay. You can have events here. You can have family reunions, weddings. I mean, it's like a five star place. Oh yeah. Especially yeah. for the outdoors people. Oh, you know for what I mean? sure. Like, yeah. All amazing. right. So I'm going to lean down here and kind of just gently pop her back in. There she goes live to catch another day we do all catch and release here so all of our bass are put back into the lakes so that they can get bigger and we we raise trophy bass here we have great hunting huge crappie i mean it's a really it's like an i'm excited to try it off yeah yeah I mean, we may even get on the water with a boat today if mm -hmm. you want to go hit the water with a boat for a little bit that sounds awesome yeah and then you know they have a really awesome gun range here um with five stands skeet shooting um and it's definitely so, gonna have to try that oh yeah it, it's just incredible so we're gonna go have some fun with that if you're up for it and, and definitely just see what kind of we can get into sounds good to me all right Too hard. 